Hello, and welcome to Speak American English with Lyman Holton. In this lesson, we're going to talk about American English. You need to get good at speaking English. So, that's what we're going to do in these videos. We're going to put the emphasis on you learning English. Have a question about English? Go down there. Mark it down. We can bring it up in the next video. I can answer your question in the comments section. Whatever works out. All right. Now, we're going to have short videos. We're going to start out real easy with what you always start out with when you're learning uh, English. Introduction, 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 right? So, hello. Goodbye. All right. And there are different ways to say uh, hello and goodbye in English. So I can say, how are you? How are you doing? The other person, fine. Thanks. And you? Well, you can reply with, I'm good too. Easy, right? Okay. What about uh, saying, how are you in English? You have to remember that's a rhetorical question. You're not really asking a question that you want an answer for. You're just saying that instead of saying, hi, hello. So when someone says, how are you? In a normal, average situation, they don't want you to say, I've got a headache, I have money problems, I lost my dog, whatever, right? They just really want you to say, fine, they'll say fine back, and everybody goes on their way. So keep that in mind, okay? Especially with strangers, the average person, strangers. Your close friends, sure, tell them your problems, why not? Okay, but uh, introductions. Hi, how are you? My name's Lyman. It's nice to meet you. The other person, well, it's nice to meet you too. What's your name? Okay, anyway, we get into our uh, introductions. Hello, goodbye. Really simple English, right? First video. Now, let's talk about a sound, a sound that is that difficult to make. make. Now, I'm going to try to walk through these one for each video. And they're the ones that I'm the most aware of being, uh, with them teaching English, what have you. And uh, it's sounds. It's not so much words. If they can get the sounds right, they can get the words right. And for example, let's talk about a vowel. We have five vowels. A, E, I, O, U. There's also Y. Well, let's not worry about Y. Okay, let's look at A. All right? There's a long A and there's a short A. The long A just sounds like its letter name, A, as in the word able, A-B-L-E, able, okay, long A, easy, simple, no problem. Then we get the short A, ah, the short A sound is ah, as in the word cat, C-A-T, cat. Now, almost everyone can say cat. It's an easy, common word that's usually pronounced correctly. So take that A, which is a short A sound, and use it wherever you speak an English word with a short A in it, right? So if you say the word, um, mm, how about cap, C-A-P, ah, cap. How about A-N, an? And how many people say un, right? Now, English, American English, and British English, un, but not American English. Think of the word and, and Tom and Mary, right? And easy, nobody gets that wrong. But if you take the D off, everybody wants to say un. No, it's not. <clears throat> so perhaps at lunchtime you ate an orange. You didn't eat un orange. You ate an orange. A N D. Take off the D. And and now you've got an. That's it. Simple, right? Okay. How about an idiom? We need to throw an idiom in at the end of each of these videos too. What should the first idiom be? 
Oh, let's. How about? Now, what would we first say about an idiom? What is that? It's a colorful way of speaking. That's really all it is. Instead of just saying something flat out boring, you can add a little color to your speech. For example, hmm, it's raining cats and dogs. Doesn't that sound a lot better than just saying it's raining really hard? Hmm. Now, why would we say it's raining cats and dogs? I'm not really sure where they came up with that. I guess because there's always been a lot of cats and a lot of dogs. So it just became a colorful way of saying it's raining hard. So you'd visualize cats and dogs. Know another idiom that you are kind of wondering about, you've heard? Put it in the comments. Maybe we'll put it in a future video, okay? Next video. Another idiom. Thank you for watching this video. And I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson. Goodbye for now.